In this week's Frosty Friday challenge, we are looking to reshape or pivot from a wide to a long data set. Each row represents a superhero with their primary and secondary powers. Galactic gargo Gargoyle, well, that's a tongue twister if ever I've seen one. Galactic Gargoyle has super speed as their primary power indicated by the double plus symbol and flight as their secondary power. And what we are looking to achieve is a table with three columns, one identifying the superhero, the other two being their primary and secondary powers. So let's go ahead and jump into our Snowflake worksheet. I'm going to start by creating a virtual warehouse to process our queries. A database to house the schema and table. And of course, we are going to need a table to hold our values. One column for each superpower with the data type varchar or string. Querying against this uh, table, we'd expect an empty result set because, well, it needs to be populated with values. So let's go ahead and uh, throw in some sample data. Once the query has been executed, we can run another select query against the same table. Where we see 10 rows of records, one for each superhero. This next piece of code is the meat and potatoes of the exercise. The first thing to point out is that it is a temporary table. And temporary tables are especially useful for storing data that does not need to be maintained for extended periods of time as they only persist for the remainder of the session. A cheaper alternative to permanent tables as they have limited time travel and no failsafe. This statement also uses uh, or relies on conditional logic using a case statement which um, scans every column and row for values meeting a certain criteria and then assigns them a label. Running this query against both the main and uh, secondary powers. We can then insert the transform data into a final table, which is going to be a permanent table. 
while excluding any null values from the result set. Validating our work, we see nine records with three columns, one for the superhero name, the other two being the main and secondary powers. And with that, we've largely accomplished our goal. If you found this useful, remember to give it a like and subscribe for more such content. As they say in my hometown, don't forget to be awesome.